I think there's a lot of other exciting things in life before, uh, besides things we do professionally. I don't, sure, I don't absolutely. know if you've ever been to a, a NASCAR race where the 100,000 fans and cars I, driving I read that, but Jack, didn't mention but, it in your uh, bio. I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> that, that certainly, to me, is exciting as well. So, um, you know, personally, uh -huh. th there's a lot more than just professionally as well that, that's exciting. That's true. Uh, can you define leadership in one word? In the great lexicon of the English language, if there was one word that you had to choose? I think they did a pretty good job <laughs> with the word leadership. Uh, yeah. I, I don't have another word I, that just one word that comes to mind when you ask that mm -hmm. question. Uh, I think leadership encompasses so many different character resist characteristics and there are so many different types of leaders that to really characterize it in one word other than leadership is different, mm -hmm. is difficult. Um, certainly good leaders listen well. They are passionate about things. They are persistent. They're dedicated. They are committed. They often, um, you know, so there's so many different mm -hmm. traits that really I, I find it impossible to define it in one better word than leadership. I understand. When, now, this is an unfair question at our age, and uh, most of the guests we have on this show are, are, are quite a bit older than you, frankly. If it all ended today, you walked out of here, how would you want to be remembered? Good question. That reminds me a little bit of uh, my favorite artist is Garth Brooks. That reminds oh, me of okay. one of uh, Garth wow. Brooks' songs. NASCAR a, a and Garth Brooks. A great Garth Brooks song, but a little-known Garth Brooks song called Pushing Up Daisies. Okay. And the uh, chorus goes something to the effect. I'm sure I'm butchering it, but uh, there's two dates in time mm -hmm. that they'll carve on your stone, and everyone knows what they mean. But what's more important is the time that's known on the little dash there in between. Nice. So I guess you're asking, what do I, what is, when, I, when people see that dash on my tombstone, what, are they, uh, what will they think? And, and I hope they think several things, all good. Of um, course. First and foremost, I hope uh, I'm remembered as a, a good father, good husband, good family person. Mm -hmm. um, also someone who, for their entire life, or all of their adult life at least, worked hard to make their community a better place. And hopefully I'll have some things to, to show that. And mm -hmm. well, I think you know, you third, <laughs> I would say someone who wasn't afraid to dream and pursue their dreams. I, I'm a big believer that people should pursue their dreams, should take risks in pursuing their dreams. Mm -hmm. And that leads to more fulfilling life and hopefully makes the world a better place when people are chasing their dreams that they're passionate about. So those are a few of the things I hope they think about when they see that little dash. The there little dash. That's a great answer. Thank you.